Welcome to the game of Risk, everyone. I'm your host, Olive XC, a top player at this game. Back at you with some classic fixed fog off, blizzards on, portal stable, bots neutral, with the players as shown here. I am in the first position, and it looks like I have a play for uh, either North America or South America. So on my move, I'm just going to focus on grouping all my troops here. I'm going to do this 3v1 right here. Hopefully it works. It does. And then I'm just going to leave everything here. And we'll see, looking at the purple player right here, they left everything in North America but haven't really done too much with it right now. So we can always wait a little bit, see what happens. Honestly, I think the jackpot continent may actually be Europe because you could do Europe turtle strategy going right where my two is in Northern Europe and hold that whole region. So that's a good thing I think I should be like keeping in mind as a uh, potential option for myself. The green player will be going for South America. The pink player should be going for, sorry, sorry, the pink player should be going for Africa. The black player should be going for uh, Europe. The blue player, I guess we'll have to go for Australia, given this dynamic, as the green player isn't going for the region. Although pink may decide to go for Australia, because no Australia, no win. And that just leaves uh, purple and me to be the ones fighting for the region. Blue also attacks fast, which makes me believe that they're good. And they immediately move into North America through the portal. Ooh, I was not expecting that. That leaves my troops kind of stranded right here. And the pink player just skips their turn? What? <laughs> Shows what I know about anything right here. All right, and now we look at the black player right here and what they are focusing on. Hmm. It looks like, yeah, they're going for Europe as I thought. That is the correct move uh, to be making. I like that a lot. So then on my move, what I will do is, yeah, I will attack into here. Now, do I want to aggressively move into Australia, or sorry, South America? I don't think so, because South America is going to be a three-point guard. It's not going to be very strong. By the way, this is like the literal like best card combination possible besides a double wild. Cannon and wild, like holy cow. That's nice when you have that luck starting off a game, folks. <laughs> but as we look uh, more into this game, like I got right here, I think that the purple player is going to... I don't know what they're doing. They're just single stacking in one location. Like, only one of us can take and hold North America. It's not even that that, that is good of a continent. Yeah, and green just, wow, this is a really high level game. Everybody's recognizing that they need to leave Australia. <laughs> oh, I love it. Nobody wants Australia. The thing is, though, is, yeah, and, and with green taking over those portals, it's going to be giving him some really nice strategic options about where he wants to go. So I'm liking the initial moves right there. Like, I'm liking this. And what I'm curious about is what Blue's going to do, because they can see, like, I'm in North America, I can't leave North America, and I need to consider what my life choices are going to be <laughs> if Blue continues being here in North America with me. And they attack Purple, so Purple is starting to get weak uh, pretty quickly. They only have one position left for themselves in Europe, and then everything else is just in North America. So I think I can continue biding my time here a little bit, just staying in Greenland, continuing to just take some cards, waiting for the right opportunity for myself. Like, I don't need to rush or do like um, anything crazy at all. So I'm just gonna continue to take one little card right here, not do anything crazy, fortify my troops over here because Brazil's probably a bigger hotspot. I'm definitely not gonna kill someone like uh, with my trade in. But I also can't be defeated either. 
So purple's getting out. Okay, so it looks like I could go for North America. I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, and green is slowly moving in to take over South America, but it's going to take them multiple more turns. Let's try to make an alliance with them because I don't want them hitting me from the south. And on Blue's case, I really would love it if they were to go out from their portal. Yeah, they're giving me... Sure, you can attack a territory of mine. I don't care about a one at all. Okay, and he hits my two. That's totally fine. I don't care about a two that much. He wants to get into a conflict with the black player instead, who has, who has not really moved into Australia. So now it looks like there is some conflict brewing between the players. I like this right here. So I'm going to leave just, you know, actually what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to take over North America here because I have a really, really nice, uh, like, like a start with this right here. I'm not going to kill purple and I'm just going to leave a light guard right here. If they're going to hit me, they're going to hit me. I want to make it like a little bit... If it's a one, it's so easy, but if it's a two, it's like a little bit more of a psychological barrier. And if they break me, it's not the end of the world, then I'll focus on guarding my continent or like the following turns for myself. Okay, so purple will be deciding to break me right here. They won't let me hold North America. That's fine. We took a small risk for a high reward right here. And now we can focus on figuring out how do we want to play this in the other uh, long game. I could potentially eliminate purple. I'll be getting a trade in at this time if blue hits the three. I hope Blue recognizes what I'm asking them to do right here. Hit that three. Mm -hmm. All right, that's fine. You don't want to hit them. I get it. Yeah, so not really sure at all what Blue is doing. Okay, Green accepts my alliance request. This is good. Oh, snap. Pink just went offline right there. That is amazing. That is actually amazing, by the way, that that happened. Uh, this, that just means that, that uh, Australia is not going to be used this game. So we are playing without Australia. No one can win. <laughs> Ooh, and the purple got hit. Yes, thank you, black player. So now I can safely eliminate the purple player and take over all s the, the continent myself. I lost 18 though. Oh, that's a bad roll. That's unfortunate. But I do get a 10 trade in. Still at 30 troops right here. I'm still uh, all right. It doesn't make sense for someone to kill me. Again, like, who, who would you kill someone at 30 troops and only three cards? Let's try to make alliances with the players. We've made our move to take out a player. Like, I'm so glad I took out purple right there. Like, even though it was like, that was a bad roll. I mean, like, bad rolls happen. You, you move on. You live with it. But now we're dealing, like, it's such a shame that, uh, that the pink player is gone. Because you know how overpowered... This continent, this like uh, Australia play would be just holding Siam and having access to all over the map. Australia would be in invincible, invincible. Ah, whatever. That'll be a thumbnail for another video, kids. I try not to make uh, false thumbnails. I try to give something a little intriguing to you guys. So that when you come in and see this video, uh, you get like a different little viewpoint out of it. But yep, it looks like right here, Pink is just going to keep putting territories down.
Okay, I was hoping that black would be taking over the the Europe continent, but it looks like they're just going to be taking a little bit longer. But this is fine. This is totally fine right here. All we're going to do right here is just take a card for ourselves. Fortifying back to our area. We're going to try to get strong again. We made a big move. We made some big plays. And now we just need to recover before we go make we make our next move. We made alliances with the players. And hopefully the blue player should be the next one eliminated. I'm hoping that that, that will be the case. Because they're without a continent right now. They have no play. Like, they just went, moved around everywhere going to North America and then not really knowing what they needed to do. Like, they're, they're, they're stuck. Ah, but green chickened out a little bit. That where the blue is stuck between a rock and a hard place. Uh, but but blue is really stuck right now. I mean, I, I don't know what they can do at the, at this time. They could attack the pink player, but the pink player is just gonna make like that. What like an eight? Like are, are you really gonna hit like eight nine troops when you're only at twenty eight left? Like sooner or later you're just gonna get like eliminated. Yeah, look at that. You're getting a one in every territory. If, if one keeps moving up there, there's just going to be nothing that you can do. Like, you attack an 8, you're going to lose 6 troops. And we got an extra troop because we have 12 territories right now. Nice! Loving, loving portals right now, you guys. So we just have to figure out now what's the next play to advance the game. I mean, we, we have the most troops. We have North America. I'm thinking the next play is, is going to be taking out the blue player next once they get one more card. I think that would be the play right there because my... because the other players here are being like relatively passive right now. It's at 30. I would be getting two trade-ins. Oh, and they attack pink. Oh, is he at 24 now? Oh, that really changes the calculation. How much did he lose? He lost six. Yeah, so if I get a double trade-in right here, I have a wild card uh, as well. Yeah, a total of nine cards being used right here. Yeah, let's do this, guys. Let's take out the blue player. So we will just uh, turn in uh, right here. We'll use Kamjeka. Put everything down uh, right here. And uh, let's go and eliminate blue. This will advance the game and avoid boring, boring stalemates. Let's get a good roll this time. Heck yeah. And the blue player is out. Nice. Oh my gosh, and that was a perfect card too. So I get a nice little trade in right here. I am loving it. Now we just go back. And look at that, guys. We started the turn with like um, 45 troops. Now we're ending it like at 60. Like we gained some troops on that. And the game is still balanced. So now we need to think, what is the best way to be advancing the game? I say probably the next thing that we need to be doing is taking out pink because they could be coming back because they're offline right now. And that's going to open up Australia, which should be giving more strategic uh, opportunities for both all the players. But them <laughs> having a 20 in front is going to make it very painful. And I don't want to be doing the work. I want the other players to be doing the work uh, instead. But it looks like the black player is just going to be turtling really hard uh, within their continent. And the green player wants to be uh, staying turtling within their continent. Okay, now the, the pink player is 100% offline right now. Yeah. So... We're just gonna hold on to our area right here. We're not turning in because we're not trying to make ourselves like be perceived like as like a threat right now or anything. Things are looking pretty nice for us. 
So would maybe. So what is the green player going to do? Uh, hopefully, will they attack black? Oh, they attack black! Yes! Yes! Okay, they hit black. Ooh, okay. And black's pissed. Oh, and then green attacks me. I love it. I barely lost anything. Oh, no. Yes, yes, yes. Game is advancing. We're not gonna be bored today. We're gonna destroy everyone in a horrible apocalypse. Woohoo! <laughs> I love these action packed games, man. They are so, so exciting. Nice, nice. So now the now we're now black and I are an alliance against the green player. So I'm just gonna focus on hitting them. And just leaving everything back here like this. The green player is in a rough shape right now, and they may decide to hit me. If they do, it's not the end of the world. Oh, they hit black again! Oh, does that break the balance of the game? I think so. I think so. Yeah, because I need to have more players than all everyone else combined. Oh, they have to smack a 13. Smack that back, that 13. Oh, that's a wrap up, guys. Oh, I love this. A nice, quick game right here. <laughs> oh, I love these quick games where just everything just like goes your way very, very quickly. Damn. Good dice by the green player. <laughs> but in any case, let's let's see if green well, yeah, green so black player cannot be killing the green player. Oh, they recognize that they need to um Okay, so honestly I can do and I really anything right here, and that's gonna end the game. So I'm just going to kill green very quickly and let's wrap this game up, you guys. And there is the green player. The game just ends! All right! Oh my gosh, these people just going inactive is amazing! Okay, well, I hope you guys all enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy this nice, quick, little classic fix video. This is Olive XC, signing off.